Can you believe we are already into December? I can't. I just can't. I hope your holiday season is off to a great start and you had a beautiful Thanksgiving. Today I'm sharing my monthly empties. We will be covering October and November. As always, links to everything that I share with you today will be in the description box below this video, but I always encourage you to tap on the top link that says corresponding blog post. That is your easiest place to shop from. On the blog post, I will also have all of my holiday and Christmas gift guides and content. Be sure to check that out as well. Once again, you're going to see a lot of repeat items because I am very loyal to products and items that I love. I rarely step outside of the box. In fact, I shared recently on Instagram stories that I have skincare that has been sent to me that just piles up and I don't even often get to it because I love the products that I use. I'm so loyal to them that sometimes I'm like, eh. and often I just give away the skincare that was, that was given to me to test and try. And I may try it a little bit and I'll pass it off to someone who can put it to you. So what I share with you is tried and true. And a lot of the things that I share with you, I have been using for years. So without further ado, let's tap into my empties for October and November. Starting with exfoliating cotton rounds, I'm not picky about the brand. These are just Kroger brand, which is a local grocery store. Here we have the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water, all-in-one waterproof. This is my cleansing water of choice. I only use this to remove my eye makeup and I use it in tandem with my, what is it called? Egyptian magic, which I will make sure is linked. So I use the Egyptian magic on my eye makeup and then I put a little bit of the Garnier Skin Active on a cotton round like I just shared and then I rub that over my eye makeup and it just comes off so seamless and I don't have to work hard at it. So love this one because it does remove waterproof mascara. Even though I don't use a waterproof mascara, this is just the better one because there's one with a pink cap that is not for waterproof, I believe. And so this is the one that I prefer. Always on repeat, the Mederma Advanced Dry Skin Therapy Facial Toner. Love the Pons Cleansing Balm. I did a video a few years ago where I talked about cleansing balms and I had many people reach out saying how great the Pons Cleansing Balm is. I decided to purchase it and try it, and yeah, it's a great drugstore item. I will share, however, I did take advantage of the Sephora Spring Savings event, and I purchased a couple, I can't remember what the, Farm Beauty, I believe, is the ones that I purchased, and I haven't, they should be coming this week. Well, by the time this video comes out, they will definitely already be here but um, I'll keep you posted on what I think of that one. But I, I do love the ponds and I definitely recommend it. A cleansing balm that I absolutely love, but it is a splurge, is the Elemis. This is the Pro Collagen Rose Cleansing Balm in Travel. I will actually keep this so that I can refill it with my um, some the, the cleansing balm that's on its way. In fact, I, when, by the time this video comes out, I will have returned from traveling and I guarantee this went with me and it was with the new Farm Beauty cleansing balm that I ordered. Always on repeat and you know that I cut my products open. I will have the Beauty Spatula that I use if needed. This is the Dr. Brandt Pore Dermabrasion Pore Perfecting Exfoliator. 
have used this product for years. It's my favorite exfoliator. I keep this in the shower and I use it daily. If you have sensitive skin, you may not be able to get away with using it daily. I have resistant skin, so I can, but I love this product. I have turned many people onto it. Highly recommend it. Here we have my prescription strength retinoid or retinol. And this is the Tazertine in the highest percentage. I have used active ingredients for years and I believe in the power of active ingredients. This is by prescription only. Giorgio Armani, this is, or they call it Armani Beauty, I believe. This is my favorite under eye concealer. I took advantage of purchasing more of this during the Sephora sale. Did I say spring savings earlier? I don't know. <laughs> I can't imagine. Maybe. <laughs> Mental pause always. Anyway, when Sephora was running their sale earlier November, I took advantage of getting stocked up on my favorite. I will have the one that I use linked below, including the color. Always on repeat, the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder in One. This is what I use to set that under eye concealer. And of course, I already picked up a new one. Here we have some goody hair ties. When they start to thin like this, if you can see, I get rid of them because the last thing I want to do is be at an Orange Theory workout class or out for a walk or a run, which is no longer happening now that we have the climate that we do, but I don't want it to break. So that's always my sign to get rid of, but always have these on hand. Watercolors Root Concealer by Tressa in Dark Brown. I always have this on repeat, cannot be without it. And I do have a video where I talk about covering your roots in between color treatments with your hairstylist, so check that video out. As always, I share a few products that my husband goes through. Here's his tried and true hairspray that he has used I think all of our marriage, and we've been married over 30 years, this is the Suave Maximum Hold Hairspray in Unscented. Such a thrifty guy. And an item that I used up, but I am well stocked with plenty of these on hand, is the Sebastian Shaper Plus Extra Hold Hairspray. I also picked this up in the trial size because I travel with it. Paul's favorite soap is the Lever 2000. I'm pretty sure he buys a big package from Sam's Club. You know my favorite soap to use is the L'Occitane Delicious Soap, and I use that in tandem with the L'Occitane shower oil. Love both of those, and I will have them linked. Also, Paul always has chapstick on him and he uses them up like crazy and he's getting so used to keeping and holding on to his empties. I have a tub or a bin that we throw our empties in and he's always throwing his empties in there. So three chapstick, I'm sure he used up more than that, but because he's always got one of these and he applies it all the time, but chapstick in classic original. Used up the L'Occitane Exfoliating and Smoothing Scrub lovely product. You know I love everything from the almond line, including this. Paul's favorite uh, shaving cream, the Gillette Foamy Sensitive. I don't use a shaving cream. I just use my soap with my shower oil, but this is his favorite uh, shaving cream, obviously for the face. And as always, I share our razors. We both use a Gillette Mach 3 man's razor and we just purchase the cartridges that you refill the razor with. Also, Paul's favorite deodorant is the Degree 48 Hour in Cool Rush. It's crazy that he goes through so many of these. That is why I love my deodorant, the Donna Karen. I only go through maybe one full one per year. Maybe I get into a second one. So while the Donna Karen is pricey, 
Honestly, it's a savings. It's less expensive because I used to be the same way. I would go through these deodorants from the drugstore so fast that Donna Karen just, it continues to go and go and go. So, so recommend that, but this is Paul's favorite. Paul and I both use the Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream. Uh, he uses it on his face and body, and I use it on my body in tandem with the L'Occitane Supple Skin Oil. I love that, but I also use my L'Occitane Milk Concentrate. On days that I get ready, like today, and we actually have something to attend this evening, I always use my L'Occitane Milk Concentrate. Any other day when I'm not really going anywhere, I'm not doing hair and makeup and getting dressed, I just use the Cetaphil, but I always use that Supple Skin Oil with it. And here we have a Trader Joe's Hand and Body Cream in Moroccan Argan, 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 Argan Oil. Yeah, Moroccan Argan Oil. Uh, this, I don't know, I feel like my second daughter Haley may have won this or gotten this as a gift. And she she typically, when she comes home, only brings a carry-on, even if she's gonna be home for a couple of weeks. It's crazy, I don't know how she does it. But a lot of times she will leave items at home that she gets or receives as gifts because they can't go in a carry-on. And I believe that's where this came from. And then I just used it up because why not? And yeah, it was fine. Nothing I would purchase. Here we have the Poise Impressa Bladder Supports in size three. Hopefully by next late spring, early summer, I will no longer need these, but I will keep you posted. Here we have always panty liners, Colgate toothpaste that I've cut open. <laughs> <laughs> Paul's favorite uh, mouthwash, Equate, which I believe is, I think Equate is Walmart brand, I'm pretty sure. And in Spring Mint. I actually don't use a mouthwash, believe it or not. Yeah, I used to, and then I stopped. And I'm doing okay. <laughs> No one has said anything. That's a good thing. But yeah, I don't. I just don't. <laughs> All right. Opalescence Go Teeth Whitening. This is always on repeat. Uh, use these all the time, about two times per week. I was going to use it today, but I had a coaching session and I like to leave them in for about an hour. I do have a teeth whitening products and routine video that I will make sure that I have down below. Really not much has changed, if anything. I don't know. I haven't watched it, but I think I'm still doing all of the same things. Retainer Bright cleaning tablets for your Invisalign or your post Invisalign trays. Paul and I both use these as well as our almost 17 year old. She'll be 17 this month on the 16th pips. She uses them as well. Moving on to supplements and boy, do I have a lot. If there is a place that I really spend my money, it's supplements. You know, we all have, I always say, pick your poison. I'm not a big spender on clothes, handbags, shoes, accessories. Where I feel I really spend money is supplements. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. So, all right, let's cycle through them. Here we have vitamin C. And let me just share, everything that I share with you is always on repeat, so vitamin C. Milk thistle, CoQ10, blood sugar support for those standard American diet, celebratory meals, ashwagandha. Love that word, I love saying that. Ashwagandha. Ah, calcium. Vitamin K2 plus D3, which work very well together. I also take additional vitamin D3. 5-HTP, I will not repurchase this one. I tried this out to help with my sleep issues. Didn't have any results. We'll be sharing more a little bit later of things that I've tried or different modalities for the sleep issues. I had a doctor's appointment the end of October and we checked my numbers and where I'm at in the perimenopause transition to menopause journey. 
and we made some tweaks and I will share the day that I filmed this video, I've been feeling pretty good. I feel like our new plan of action is maybe working. I don't want to speak too soon, but as of today, I've had a little stretch of feeling pretty good. But I'm also going to add that when I filmed this video, I have not had a celebratory meal in about two weeks. So clean eating straight for two weeks. I also, I drink a gallon of water per, per day, so no alcohol, no bread, no dessert. Now, by the time this films, that will have changed. <laughs> so we'll see what happens because this video is coming off of me coming home from a week's vacation. So I can't speak for what took place on that vacation today because I, I'm not there yet, but there's no clean, I mean, it's just, I'm on vacation, so things are always a little different, but anyway, I will not repurchase this. Always on repeat, 60 billion probiotic, magnesium glycinate, another one I like to say, BCAA glutamine in the flavor, green apple, I love pretty much all of their flavors, flavors except for the tropical one. I'm not, I don't like tropical fruit so much, but I do, I need to purchase more of this because when I film this video, I'm kind of getting low and usually I do the bundle to uh, take advantage of extra savings, but I always drink this post-workout. I shake it up prior to my workout. My water, my blender bottles are ready to go. They're in the refrigerator waiting for me in the morning to pour a scoop in, shake it up, and then I drink it post-workout. A couple of Motrin. This would be Paul and Chloe emptying these, not me. The only Motrin I take is by prescription, so must be someone's loading up on their Motrin and they need to be careful because this is not just to play around with. And I missed an item when I was talking about skincare. These are my glycolic acid 20% resurfacing pads. Again, another active ingredient that I've used for years. I alternate my retinoid with my glycolic acid. So one evening I do retinoid, the following evening I do the glycolic acid. Here I have a tea light. Now I go through these year round like crazy and I order them in bulk. I don't like using votive candles in my little votive, votive holders because when they melt down, they're so hard to get out, where these, you just pop them out. So highly recommend. And these are like the long burning ones, so they burn much longer than another tea light. They're higher. So I will definitely be encouraging you to take advantage of those. Favorite pen, these are the Zebras in the 1.0 millimeter blue ink, also available in black ink. Snuggle Fabric Softener is my favorite, but I'll take whatever, it's just my favorite. I have loved using Magic Sizing ironing spray for years and hopefully, a, I don't know, maybe about a month ago, you caught my story where I talked about how I became a big fan of Magic Sizing and how it's an old school thing. I don't think most young adults would use Magic Sizing. This is hard to find, but I found a dupe and it works great and it smells better. So there you go. Here we have a kitchen sponge that just was on its way out. Finish rinse aid for the dishwasher. Dawn dish soap. I use it for many purposes, including washing my makeup brushes and my beauty sponge to apply my foundation. Uh, Dawn dish soap just d does the job. It's the only dish soap that I purchase. Also here, I have little disposable changing pads for where I change June's diaper. So these are really handy to have. And this is just an old lunch bag of Chloe's. I will link the new lunch bag that she purchased, but basically all done with this. I'll share a little blast from the past tip when I was raising my kids and they took their lunch to school. I always, and I know this isn't going to probably be for everyone because of waste or whatever, but 
I would have the kids pack, well, you also have to remember, when I was raising my kids, there wasn't as much like save the earth, save the planet, all these things, <laughs> all these natural things. It wasn't so big back then. Just to add more work to our life, now it's a big thing. The noise of the world, <laughs> the noise of the world <laughs> that some listen to and some don't. Anyway, back to what I wanted to share. To keep their lunch bag the the to keep to extend their lunch bags life i guess i would say i always had my girls pack their lunch in a brown paper lunch sack and then put it in here bath tissues members mark that would mean sam's club which i don't purchase paul takes care of these i'm yeah he takes care of a lot of the toiletry household things like that and you would you'd be amazed how stocked up we are i don't he must think there's something coming that means we have to stock up paper towels as well members mark from sam's club you ever notice as we go these these empties videos get more fun yeah i i start to kind of get into my groove <laughs> all right <laughs> What's next? Here we have Mrs. Dash in lemon pepper. I've been using Mrs. Dash for over 10 years because when I used to compete, that was really all we could use. You couldn't have any salt on your com competition diet. So I became a big fan of Mrs. Dash because it's salt free and I still use Mrs. Dash. This is what I use on my salmon and my crab cakes that I order and have on auto repeat uh, delivery or shipment every single month. Ezekiel 4 verse 9 uh, sprouted grain bread. This must have been something I had in October because I haven't had bread when I was doing three week intense, but I do love this. I love to put my scrambled egg whites on it, use uh, like some avocado and spread the avocado on and put egg whites on it. So delicious. It's like a treat. A fall candy that I kept in the candy dishes is Lindt's Lindor and almond butter. These were really good. And then we have the caramel ones as well. These were really good as well. Paul's favorite every single year that I fill our candy dishes with is the peppermint cookie milk chocolate truffles. These are limited edition, but they have little chunks and he loves anything that has Oreo in it, like um, ice cream that has Oreo in it, whatever that's called. Um, anything that has those chunks of cookie in it, he loves. So this is one of his favorites. This is a really big weakness of mine. I probably had it for a celebratory meal one night in October, I'm guessing, or one day, is the Exotic Vegetable Chips by Simple Truth, which is a line for Kroger grocery stores. You can get these chips in other brands, but this is my favorite. Raw fountain juices, you know I do several days of juicing every single month to make my life easier. That's all it is, that's all it is. I eat clean, so it's not like I'm cleaning up by having my juices. I eat a clean diet. It's just I need days where I have a break of the high maintenance of being a healthy eater. It's, it's a lot of work to meal prep vegetables and cook all of your food. And when you eat several times a day like I do, it's just a lot and I need days off and I'm so thankful for my juicing days. They are days I look forward to because I literally get a break. I will have a link to the website in the description box and I will have a code that you can take advantage of for a discount. These are great. They're, they are my saving grace. I've been drinking these for, I believe, over a year now. I also have a local, somewhat local, about 35, 30 minute drive uh, ju juicery that I also use, but they're so expensive there. It's just outrageous and I get it. Everything is. These are so much more affordable. So I really appreciate my raw fountain. Stevia. 
just for my coffee. And this must be from October because it is the Witch's Brew wine that we enjoy in our family during the month of October leading up to Halloween. And it sounds really good right now. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, always a really delicious wine to have during the fall season and very, very affordable. Folgers Coffee, always on repeat. And I think Paul picks this up from Sam's Club as well. These are cannabis <laughs> that did, well, this one wasn't bad. Um, again, another modality that I tried. Yes, yes, I tried this uh, for sleep it, because many people have really great results. First of all, I've tried several and had no success. I don't even get a buzz. I don't even, I don't even get chill. I don't even get, I just, yeah, no, just don't work. But I will say this one kind of did. This is the Canalicious Labs Fast Acting Rest Sleep Gummies and mixed berry. This one actually kind of did. So there's different compositions for each one. And I don't know if this one just had a better composition. Who knows? THC, CBD, CBN was in this. And an indica, terpene, ter terpene. Okay, so maybe that was it. This did nothing. Cannabis breakthrough for sleep and cherry berry. Um, I'm done. I, I'm no longer this modality doesn't work for me. So you know everything with me has to work. But a lot of people have great success or at least just get that chill, wind down feeling that I never experienced. This is a uh, slipper sock, which I love these. This has a hole in it, but I absolutely love these types of socks. I have some on right now. I have my, I have my slippers on right now, but love these. And I'm guessing the same with the footy. These are my workout footies and they have holes in the toe. You do go through those. I do a lot of workouts. And then I actually have, I don't know why, <laughs> a pair of Victoria's Secret panties. I think these are the cheekies, but um, I think it's just that I need to replenish. You need to replenish these things periodically, ladies and gentlemen. And then my daily word, which I'll keep these. I, I can think of a few family members that although these are devotionals that are for certain months, this is July and August, this is September and October, I, I can think of a few people that would resource these. Oh, and here's May and June. And we have Morning with Jesus set up the same way. This was July and August. I read a devotion every single day. I am already into the next one which is November and December. And then lastly, this book that I read, What the Most Successful People Do Before Breakfast. I'm not going to give a review on this book. If you go to the description box and you see where I linked this book, I will also put a video next to it where I give a review of this book. So if you're interested in a good read and want to hear why it's a good read, but really wasn't a good read for me, but it probably would be for you, check out that video. Well, there you go. Empties for October and November with probably a little humor going on. Be sure to stick around because at the end of the month, my bloopers video will come out and I'm sure there's going to be a few bloopers that my editor pulled from today that you're not seeing in this video, but you will see in my bloopers. Don't forget to check out all of the holiday gift guides and holiday content. More to come in that uh, category. And as always, click that top link in the description box below today's video, which will take you to the corresponding blog post where you can get to all of the links. They will also be down below, but there's more content on that corresponding blog post. Thanks for hanging around for the duration of my empties. And thank you for all of the wonderful feedback that you give me every single year on my empties videos, even though I share the same stuff all the time. So. I really appreciate it. Take care.